Welcome revolutionaries. Tonight I have a short but tragic tale. That of the Thomas Sankara for you. Every time I say the words coup or president, the background will change. Thomas Sankara, born December 21st, 1949, Yako Upper Volta, which is now Burkina Faso, died October 15th, 1987, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. Military officer and proponent of Pan-Africanism, who was installed as president of Upper Volta, later Burkina Faso, in 1983 after a military coup. He held that position until 1987 when he was killed after another coup. Sankara's Roman Catholic parents wanted him to be a priest, but he opted for a military career instead. In 1970, at the age of 20, Sankara was sent for officer training in Madagascar, where he witnessed a popular uprising of students and workers that succeeded in toppling Madagascar's government. Before returning to Upper Volta in 1972, Sankara attended a parachute academy in France, where he was further exposed to left-wing political ideologies. In 1974, he learned much public attention for his heroic performance in the border war with Mali. But years later, he would renounce the war as useless and unjust. By the early 1980s, Burkina Faso was being rocked by a series of labor union strikes and military coups. Sankara's military achievements and charismatic leadership style made him a popular choice for political appointments, but his personal and political integrity put him at odds with the leadership of the successive military governments that came to power, leading to his arrest on several occasions. In January 1983, Sankara was selected as the Prime Minister of the newly formed Council for the Salvation of the People, Conseil de Salut du Popa CSP, headed by Jean-Baptiste Wadrego. This post provided him with an entryway into internal politics and chance to meet with leaders of the non-aligned movement, including Fidel Castro. Samora Makel, and Maurice Bishop. Sankara's anti-imperialist stance and grassroots popularity increasingly put him at odds with conservative elements within the CSP, including President Wadrego. Sankara was removed as Prime Minister in May, and arrested once again on August 4, 1983. Blaise Comparare, Sankara's close friend and fellow co army colleague, led a group that freed Sankara overthrew the Wadrego regime, and formed the National Council of the Revolution, Conseil National de la Révolution, with Sankara as its president. Sankara declared the objectives of the democratic and popular revolution to be primarily concerned with the tasks of eradicating corruption, fighting environmental degradation, empowering women, and increasing access to education and health care, with the larger goal of liquidating imperial domination. During the course of his presidency, Sankara successfully implemented programs that vastly reduced infant mortality, increased literacy rates and school attendance, and boosted the number of women holding government, op government offices. On the environmental front, in the first year of his presidency alone, 10 million trees were planted in an effort to combat desertification. On the first anniversary of the coup that had brought him to power, he changed the country's name from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, which means roughly land of upright peace, land of upright people, in Mosi and Diola, the country's two most widely spoken indigenous languages. Despite the great tr despite the great strides that were made, there was constantly growing dissent in the country, partly because of the economical problems and opposition from traditional quarters to some of Sankara's more progressive social policies. His administration gradually lost popular support and internal conflict within his government as well. On October 15, 1987, Sankara was assassinated in a coup led by Comparare and two others. While this video may be short, the life and liberty of Thomas Sankara is not, and he will be remembered. With that, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your night. Until the next one.